Welcome! This video presents the features of an advanced new add-on for Revit that we created for our latest lighting solution. It opens a totally new way to design with light. This tutorial requires basic Revit knowledge. Our Lua Light system is a brand new modular lighting solution made from sustainable bamboo material. It consists of straight and curved lighting elements. The modules can be connected freely in any order to form simple lines, big or smaller circles or a combination of both. Download the add-on from the download section on our website. You can find the download link in the description below this video. Locate the LuaLight placement automation file on your computer and install the software by confirming each of the installation steps. Now open your project in Revit. Because LuaLight is a pendant light which is attached to the ceiling, we need a ceiling plan and a ceiling component. If there is no ceiling component in the model, the software will not place the suspension sockets in the correct height. We now want to place a light configuration in the kitchen and dining area. As you can see, this model has no ceiling plan. Therefore, we are adding at first a ceiling plan for level 1 and then a ceiling. To activate the add-on, click on Lua Light in the toolbar menu and then click on the logo. This will open the interface. The first four options let us insert each of the modules one by one. Our first option here is a straight line with 118 cm length. The second module is a big arc with a diameter of 163 cm that can turn either to the right or to the left. The third option is a small arc with a diameter of 85 cm, which can turn either to the right or to the left. And the fourth module is the power module that hosts the power supply and the Bluetooth lighting controller. This module can be part of the suspended installation or it can be attached directly on the ceiling. Now let us entirely focus on the fifth option, which is the chain option. The chainer supports us to connect several modules automatically. The general property panel contains the general specifications of the selected module. For example, lumen per watt, the range of the adjustable color temperature or output voltage. In the lighting property panel we have several choices. Here we can determine the installation height above floor level the type of bottom light that gives us two adapter options. The first option is the diffuser adap adapter that spreads light evenly to all directions or the slit optics with a lens that focuses light more downwards. Under color of lumina we can choose if the lumina is painted white or if it has its natural bamboo shade. In case slit optics is chosen previously, we then can choose if the adapter is painted black or if it has the natural bamboo shade. We can also activate the photometric slider options to adjust intensity and color temperature of the up and down light component. Now let's go to the fun part, the Lua light chainer. The chainer joins as many models as we like automatically together. Each of the modules has its own naming initial. The initials are shown in this list. For example, the straight module is named with the initial S. The small arc turning to the left is named lowercase l or the big arc turning to the right is written as a capital R. When we type a string of initials into this field, the according lower light configuration will be plotted in the preview window. For example, a small circle can be drawn with four lowercase l or four lowercase r initials. A big circle can be drawn with four capital L or four capital R initials. We can draw straight lines by repeatedly typing the letter S. We can enter any other string of initials.
When we are happy with our configuration, we hit OK and choose the location where we want it to be placed. If a module is placed for the first time, it takes a while for Revit to read it to the project. The first time placement of an installation that uses all the four modules can take up to 30 seconds to load. If the modules are used in the current project session once, any subsequent placement will occur faster. After the placement of a lure light chain, the configuration is grouped and as such can be moved or rotated just like any other single object. When selected, the property panel shows the group name, the string of the initials of the used modules and the total maximum power consumption. In the section we can see that Revit automatically adjusted the length of the suspension wires. Alright, this was a short introduction. We hope that you have a positive experience by using this add-on. Don't hesitate to contact us directly if you have any questions. We are of course curious to see with what solutions you are coming up with. So please share if you can.